follower named Sadia or Sadia, sorry if I can't pronounce it correctly, reached out and asked me what I would do with the new space that she just bought. Let's preface by saying this is the listing photos, this is not her furniture, but she was worried because the floor plan has windows on each side and she just wasn't sure how to lay out her furniture and how to make it look how she wants it to look. The first thing I did was figure out exactly what the space will look like with nothing in it, AKA what is the floor plan? And here's where we stand. Notice that directly above my head on both of those walls are a lot of windows, which was a concern for her. And then there is a door on the far right side of the living space as well. I've actually come up with two options for the floor plan that I'm gonna walk you guys through. Here is the first option for the floor plan I came up with. When you come in the door, there is a console to the right for storage. And then you have the sofa floating in the middle of the room looking at a TV over here that is gonna be on a low profile TV stand. But yes, it is in front of a window, which I know could be problematic for some, but please let me defend my point here. I was thinking more like the one above, but I thought I'd show the one below as well to show you where you could successfully have you know, a TV in front of a wall. And of course, curtains or drapery or window coverings are gonna be important. Here I would do floor to ceiling curtains because that's just what you should do. Also wanna mention that having the furniture floating in the middle of the room is gonna make the space just feel higher end. It's also gonna feel bigger. They really lined each room with furniture in this house before she lived there and it just made it look like a box. Here is option two for this floor plan. And I think this might be my preface. I will say the only thing that is a little weird is that the TV is not gonna be, the TV is gonna be on that far wall that says 11 on it and the sofa is not going to be centered in front of it but i think that this looks really good as well um but you know it sort of moves everything a little bit more to the middle of the room now if you're going to go with a floor plan like this that small wall that's about 11 feet long you don't want to put a small tv console like the one in front of the windows what you would want to do here is do something like the ikea besta series and have something that goes across the length of the full wall to give you that full scale of the wall so you don't make it look super tiny here's a before just to remind you guys of the paneling that i'm about to reference on the bottom half of these walls here is how i would make that paneling look super intentional what i would do is keep a white on the top maybe a little bit of a warmer white and then on the lower level depending on my color scheme i would either do like a cooler blue gray like this or a warm beige sort of like this. And I think it'll look a lot more intentional. And don't forget to send me your space with your design dilemmas so that I can answer them for you.